Question 21. This question is about the sodium iodide and the sodium chloride. There are two reactions involved. First reaction is the two salts are separately warmed with the concentrated HSO4 and the results noted. Second reaction aqueous solution of the two salts are separately added to silver nitrate solution followed by concentrated ammonia solution and the results noted means there will be two observations there uh, before we uh, go through this uh, answer uh, let's start with the reaction equation for the sodium chloride with the concentrated HSO4, after they react, it will form the salt, sodium hydrogen sulfate, or the NaHSO4, and HCl. So this is a white film. And the HCl will not further react with the HSO4. For the sodium iodide, it will react with the concentrated sulfuric acid to form the same salt, NaHSO4, and it's form the HI. So the difference between HCl and HI is the bond length and the bond energy. Because the bond length in the HCl is shorter, so it's stronger and it's harder to break so that's why this one will not further react with the H2SO4 because the HI the bond length is longer and weaker so it's easy to break and it can easily react with the concentrated H2SO4 so for the hydro this uh, HI after it reacts with the H2SO4, the iodide will oxidize to iodine. And uh, this sulfate or the H2SO4 will reduce to H2S. So means the H2SO4 is an oxidizing agent. It will oxidize this iodide to iodine itself reduced to H2S so this is a redox reaction why because the HI it can be easily oxidized by the H2SO4 because of the bond length which is longer now let's go through the answer here the first part so which row is correct that so for the first reaction, identity of one product from uh, form with the concentrated H2SO4. So as I told you just now, sodium chloride will not form chlorine. So there is no chlorine here. Sodium chloride cannot really form H2S because the HCl will not further react with H2SO4. So the H2SO4 will not form H2S. So therefore, answer is just C or D because the sodium iodide, it can form these two, iodine and H2S. The iodide here form iodine, the sulfate here form the H2S. So that's why both can be formed from the sodium iodide. Now, of course, the answer depends on the second test now, second reaction. So for this uh, solution, okay, let's look at this one. When we have a chloride solution and iodide solution, when the silver nitrate added, so the chloride will form white precipitate and the iodide will form pale yellow precipitate 
So this is AGCL and this is AGI. So something like this, the white precipitate, this one. For the bromide, uh, then it will form this cream precipitate. For the iodide, uh, the AGI will form this pale yellow precipitate. So this is uh, the this one I took it from the textbook as well. So this is how it looks like when the silver nitrate added. So now when the concentrated ammonia solution added, these two will dissolve and form clear solution. So this one dissolve gone from clear solution and this one still remain insoluble when concentrated ammonia solution added this one still like this remain insoluble so that's why for this one observation after silver nitrate solution added and the concentrated ammonia solution added so we will see the yellow precipitate All right so answer therefore is c okay that's all thank you